Roast rack of lamb can make an impressive centerpiece for your next special dinner, but it's so easy to make any night of the week. I can't wait to show you my version of it with a Mediterranean garlic and herb marinade. I'm Susie with TheMediterraneanDish.com, your number one resource for Mediterranean cooking. If you're new here, subscribe and follow this channel for delicious videos every single week. Now let's get to it. Okay, so we're starting with two beautiful, already Frenched racks of lamb. You can ask your butcher to French the rack of lamb, which means they take off the top heavy layer of fat and they clean around all the bones. So it will look more like this. So once you have that, all you need to do is start with a little bit of salt and pepper. So we're gonna do that on both sides of our beautiful lamb rack. I like just a little bit of fat on the lamb racks here because that produces beautiful flavors as they roast in the oven. And you're gonna turn over and do the same thing because there's a bit of meat on the other side. Okay, let's grab our food processor. I'm using a small one, that's all you need here today. And we're gonna put together a beautiful Mediterranean garlic and herb marinade. This is a very simple marinade and you can change it up however you like. 10 or so cloves of garlic. Oh yeah, we're not garlic shy over here. 10 to 12 of them. Two teaspoons of rosemary. Then I have a good cup of fresh parsley. You could also do mint or basil. To your liking, red pepper flakes. And a good bit of extra virgin olive oil, like about a half a cup or so. I am using, by the way, you guys, Private Reserve Greek Extra Virgin Olive Oil. You can find it on the MediterraneanDish.com. Just hit the shop tab when you get there. Now let's give this a good chop. Back to our beautiful lamb here. If you have the time, we're gonna cover this with our marinade and let it sit for a few minutes while we heat up our oven. If you don't, you can stick it right in the oven, you know? You do you. We're gonna use all of this goodness all over the lamb. Gonna turn it over. And particularly the meaty part, you guys, you wanna get as much of this beautiful marinade on top and you're gonna cook this beauty for just a few minutes in a high heated oven. I have my oven going at 450 degrees while these sit for a few minutes to marinate. Here we go, this looks great. It's been marinating for a few minutes. I'm gonna stick it in the oven at 450 degrees, so come with me. So we're gonna start on the top rack for about 15 minutes or so. Ooh, this is looking good already, you guys. I'm gonna turn it over very carefully. Look at this beautiful color. And we wanna get some color on the other side as well. So we're gonna stick it back in the oven on the top rack. I'm gonna go for five more minutes. All right, look at this, you guys. This is going to make a gorgeous centerpiece. It did shed a lot of the fat, which is perfect. We don't need that, we're gonna discard it. And look at this other side right here. So good. Don't go anywhere, we are not done here. We gotta cover this and let it sit for a good 10 minutes. You don't wanna carve into the lamb, you wanna just let it rest. So, here we go. Light and tent. All right. Oh yes, this is perfect. These have had enough time to rest, so let me show you how we carve the rack of lamb. So you've got eight chops on a rack of lamb. You can hold it up this way and just kind of go in between the bones, you guys. So kind of just feel your way in around. So mine is more of a medium today. Oftentimes I do a medium rare. So just do however you like. So what do you serve a beautiful rack of lamb with, you guys? Anything at all. So if you wanna serve it as a beautiful 
kind of more hefty appetizer for the holidays or a special dinner or whatnot. I like to serve it with a little bit of tzatziki sauce. I have a video for that. But you could also just serve it on a weeknight for dinner. Why not? Add a side of my Greek salad and there you have it. And that is it for my roast rack of lamb. Grab the full recipe and tips on the MediterraneanDish.com. I will see you later. Ciao.